days of the big day. Oh yeah. Team lift for safety. Good job team. So there are a ton of you guys following me on Instagram, about a thousand from the last time I saw, which I am so grateful. Now with that amount of support, I was reached out by a few people letting me know that Bamboo Labs was hosting this giveaway. Stacy from Rotorite, she told me about this competition and surely enough, I decided to join it. For those who don't know what I do, if this is the first time you're on this channel, I'll go ahead and show you guys a few different products that I make. Essentially they were asking RC people to provide any any photos of like designs that they've made. At first glance, I was thinking maybe they, they're talking about innovative designs like latches and levers and all those crazy stuff. But I was like, you know what? Screw it, I'll give it a go. With the designs that I've done, I've compiled those photos, threw it up on the contest, and you know, kind of crossed my fingers hoping for, for good luck. About a few weeks later, now we have a Bamboo Lab X1 series combo. I don't, I don't even know where to start with this. Before I got this thing, I was using um, two Ender 3 Pros. This one's really good for printing TPU. I don't know, I guess the settings are good for this one. While this one does way better for harder plastics like you know your typical PLAs and stuff like that. And now we got this thing. So I guess the best thing to do now is start with the unpacking. I saw some videos. Uh, just to kind of get a head start or kind of know what I was getting into and the unpackaging seems pretty interesting. There's a lot, a lot going on. got excited for no reason. I'm like, look, we got ourselves a built-in trash bag. Now I don't have to run downstairs and look for a bag. This is a lot of, a lot of junk. Came with this, uh, I guess this motor boat model components kit. That could be for my son. Bamboo Lab Carbon Combo 3D Printer Quick Start. And yeah, we're gonna need this. So this AMS is inside here right now. I tried to do a quick little snag, but it looks like it's locked in there. So I should probably check the manual and see. Yeah, I need to unscrew some stuff. Where's the Allen key? Ha, huh, found it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it was hiding under the screen. We got the hot end. We got the little package. It looks like there's some bamboo grease, which uh, to be honest, I think one of my Ender 3 pros uh, need some grease, so I might, might have to use one of those packets on that one. Important information, so it says, ensure that the build plate is on the heat bed and matches the corresponding build plate setting in Bamboo Studio. Wash the build plate regularly with hot water and detergent for best adhesion. Wait until the bed plate fully cools down before removing prints. With my Ender 3, I just snag it off. <laughs> wow. No wait time. Zip zilch. It's done. It's, it's coming off. All right, and lastly it says, when printing PLA and TPU with an enclosed printer, keep the front door open or top cover open. I'm not sure how that's gonna affect uh, TPU, but we're gonna find out soon enough.
are some uh, foam panels down here and back here. And it seems like I can't really get them out without feeling like I'm gonna damage something. It's supposed to, I guess, start up here. Instructions just show to remove the screws off the the end here. Uh, I should probably get more light so you guys can see. One second. There are little red arrows across the end that I took the screws off of, but I'm not really sure what to do next. I watched a few videos. Any unboxing video that I've seen so far, they just overlooked it. I guess those pieces are meant to be removed after the system sets itself up. So the next steps now is essentially downloading the Bamboo Handy app, getting this thing plugged in, and testing out our first print. So I'm just waiting for the Bamboo Handy app to download on my phone. I'm excited. Oh, look at that. Nice little light. That's cool. I heard there was a camera system. Where's the camera? Oh, I see it. It's up there. It's right there. I got this set up. Changed my name. Right now it's still showing the default name. Probably going to change it after I get into the screen here. The printer needs to calibrate for the current environment. Please ensure the heat bed is unlocked before starting calibration. Calibration may take several minutes. Calibrate. Yep. So it did go up. Guess we can take these out, maybe. Yep. That's why I couldn't just yank it out. It was all across the bottom. I was confused. After a few minutes, calibration is complete. What I'm going to do now is do a test print. We're going to do a 3D Benchy. If it works according to plan, then ideally I want to try to make something tonight. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna make, nor do I have the right colors. Like I need to buy a whole new set of filament for this AMS system, because I typically use TPU. These are not not suited for TPU. However, I did see a video that was talking about modifying the AMS to support the TPU, so that's that may be something we'll do a little bit later. If it works correctly, I'll let you know, but I do want to get a separate AMS before I even start that process, just so I don't damage this one. The video did say that it, it is a reversible process, but I would rather have one for um, PLA, the normal materials, and then a separate one for the TPU. There seems to be a folder already built into this, and it has certain prints on it. I figured we could get started with just the basic benchy. Hopefully the camera records automatically and that'll be sent to my phone. I haven't checked that yet. All right, print now. It's doing its thing. Now it does say to keep the door open if we're printing with PLA. And I think it also wanted the hood open, but we'll just pretend, we'll pretend that the hood's open. Taking a quick look at the Benchy, it is looking pretty freaking good. I'm gonna switch to a different lens just so we can get some close-ups. Uh, there, there are a few things where I would assume maybe it had too much heat on the bed area versus the top area. As you can see there's a bit of a seam there, but it's not even that crazy. The overall quality, I mean, it's hitting really tiny areas pretty well. There's some detail on the base here. So the 3D Benchy is done. The next test is essentially, can it handle TPU? TPU is gonna be the main thing I'm uh, I'm gonna try to print on this printer. Although I do want it to be used for, you know, ABS, other stuff as well. If you're following me on Instagram or on Facebook, any, any, any of the two, uh, you'll be able to see when I post these creations that I make. So if you have this frame and you want to fly with Haunter bumpers protecting your motors, definitely check out the Patreon. Um, link will be in the description. The goal is to print these Haunter boots and see how well it does that, how well it can keep the detail. Um, and then we'll compare it with the ones that were printed on the Ender 3 Pro. So um, let's try that out. So I got Haunter thrown into the 
mix here. The only problem is the supports kind of look a little funky. I'm using the, the TPU preset that they have here, so I'm hoping they're doing whatever needs to be done, but uh, we're just going to test it and see how it goes. Keep a close eye on it. We've got Hans here at about 90% complete, so it should be getting off the print bed in just a minute here. I am worried about the layer lines because they do look funny, um, kind of how they did in the uh, software, but um, that's probably something I have to get used to. The filament does come off a bit stringy versus with the Ender 3. I was able to get it all pulled off in, in like one swoop. The detail looks really good. The teeth on this could use a little help, but I think I may have had that same issue with the other printer. And again, I'm just use I, I use the, the preset that they had for for TPU. This may not be necessarily the best um, to use with the Sane Smart material. The uh, Ender 3 looks just slightly better, and I th it's because I spent hundreds of hours trying to get that thing to print right, so that's probably why currently it's at this state, but it, at the same time, it's, it takes, what, almost two hours to print this, where it spent less than 30 to print this. Once I get the settings right on this one, I'm pretty sure it's going to outperform this one. The claim about bamboo is it just works. That's certainly what happened today. It worked. It looks just as good. Probably not as good as this, but I'm ready to get some new settings for this, or at least kind of research and see what settings people are using. I'm pretty sure tons of people have their tips and tricks on how to use the same smart material on this printer. I did, as I mentioned before, use the preset that this one comes with, but it's it's trying to use bamboo TPU, not Saint Smart. I'm excited for the opportunities. I have um, like that burger drone stuff. I want to reprint in multicolor. I have uh, these haunter mounts, which I want to do in multicolor, where I want to have the white eyes and the you know the pupil and stuff. You'll be seeing that soon, so be sure to follow my Instagram. It's going to be linked below as well as on Facebook if you want to check me out there. With that being said, it's been fun, y'all. Until next time, take it easy.